Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 3000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Former Absolute Heavyweight World Champion Mike Tyson shares his opinion about the WBA Lightweight World Champion Jarwante Davis. He will also become a legend if he continues to fight. Tyson said, recall that in early January, a duel took place between Gervonta Davis and Dominican boxer Gector Luis Garcia. The match ended with the victory of Gervonta Davis, as Garcia refused to continue the fight after the 8th round. Thus, Gervonta Davis defended the regular WBA lightweight title. For the sake of this fight, the holder of the featherweight belt, Garcia, rose to the lightweight division. Davis won his 28th victory in professional boxing and continues to go undefeated. The newly born member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame, the conqueror of two weight divisions and the current boxing commentator on ESPN, American Timothy Bradley, harshly walked over compatriot Jarwante Davis, the WBA World Lightweight Champion. Bradley believed that Davis is not a man at all, but just a piece of shit. I really think so. If you allow yourself to raise your hand against a woman, then you automatically turn into shit. What kind of a man are you after that? I don't know how it could be otherwise. That's how I was raised. I've been told since childhood that if you raise your hand against someone who can't defend himself, then you are just a coward. Bradley is talking about an incident that happened in December. Davis was arrested, accused of domestic violence, allegedly beat the mother of his child. The lady later retracted his accusations. Bradley wasn't convinced that. What difference does it make what happened next? This dude has enough money to bribe anyone. He's now trying to widen his reputation with a toothbrush. Dude, you can afford to buy at least an entire toothbrush company. But I'm not an idiot. I saw the video. His voice is heard in the background. He is a good fighter, but as a person, not really. Bradley hopes that Davis' fight with fellow knockout Rangers here will still take place. And he's not betting on the favorite at all. The question is, is Ryan ready? He already knows what it's like to be on the canvas of the ring. Garcia has his advantages, dimensions and excellent striking power. In this confrontation, I will root for him. And I want him to win because I'm definitely not a fan of the tank. I say it as it is. I don't like the way this guy behaves outside the ring. I don't know if he wants to fight Ryan. But I hope Garcia knocks this asshole out. I hope that he will invest in his punch and put your one in his place. Bradley believes that Garcia also has stylistically a lot of mistakes and vulnerabilities. Let's see if he can fix it all. But he has a chance, and such chances are good. He has not only a puncher's chance, but also speed, fast hands, sharp punches. He's young, fresh. What kind of errors exactly? No, 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 it wasn't work that way. He has a coach, and I don't get paid for it. Let the shows be eliminated by the one who is paid for this work. According to the Observer, Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather have done a solid job turning Jarwanti into a star. Now it's time to take care of the legacy, that is, to take those very fights, fights of the IBHOF member level. I think that's what he needs to think about now. After all, I think he wants to stay forever in people's memory. Money is good, but be kind. Fight at least with someone worthy. Take part at least once in a duel in which there will be no clear favorite. Take a chance just once. Try to give the fans what you want for once, Bradley said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.